Hi, it's Harriet and Baloo. Today we're going to have a look at Baloo's spark plugs, take them out, give them a once over. They might even need a little bit of a clean and then we'll pop them back in again. I'm going to show you whereabouts they are on the car and how to do that. If you do like my video, you can give it a like and subscribe, I'd be really happy. Thank you. So what you're going to need for the task ahead is a ratchet spanner, wire brush for cleaning up your spark plugs, feeler gauges for checking the gap is correct in them, spark plug socket for removing and putting them back in again, some wire wool or emery cloth whichever you prefer and a trusty Haynes manual that's correct for the year of your car. So one of the most important bits of kit for when you're doing anything with your car is definitely a manual. So this is my manual here, um, it's for a 1200 Beetle which is what Baloo is. Really really handy, obviously it's got the glossary at the back so you can always find what page that you need. So for instance today we need 76 for our spark plugs, uh, I've already had a look at what it says on that so that's really really useful. But mainly there's a bit at the back here which actually tells you what's going on with your spark plugs which is really handy. So we'll have a look at that in a second and I'll show you what is going on with mine. I'm going to show you now whereabouts on the engine your spark plugs are located. You'll have four, both sides of your engine, left and right. And you'll find them behind your HTC leads which should be attached to them. You'll be pulling those out and once you've pulled them out behind those you'll find your spark plugs. There's one there. So you'll need your spark plug socket and you'll need a ratchet spanner to take the spark plugs out. Okay so I've pulled out one of the spark plugs from Baloo and looking at the guide here it looks as though it might be this one here which is oil fouling from what's on top of the spark plug there. So it does say it's wet or oily deposits which is kind of what it looks like. Uh, the fault on there is worn bores, pistons, rings or valve guides sometimes occurs temporarily during running in period so potentially it's something to do with it running in, hopefully. Um, if it's anything worse I'll have to look into that. We're going to give the spark plugs a good clean at this stage but be quite delicate with them if you can. Using your wire wool or emery cloth or um, wire brush make sure you just get rid of any of the black stuff that's on them until they're nice and clean. As you can see this one's nice and clean, a lot cleaner than it was before and it's now ready to go back in the car. So this tool is called a feeler gauge, so I'm going to check the gap in my spark plug before I put it back and make sure it's correct. My manual is telling me that the gap that's correct for it needs to be between 0.6 and 0.7mm. I found the right one here, it's 0.610mm, so I'm just going to check the gap with that just now. Yeah, that's pretty snug, so that should mean that it's the right gap for that spark plug. So we just need to do the same thing with the other three plugs, making sure that they're clean and checking all the gaps. Now that we've removed all four of our spark plugs, given them a clean, checked all the gaps are correct, we can put them back in the car again. So this is the way I do it anyway, so I grab my spark plug socket, pop the spark plug inside like that, it should fit quite snugly. This one is a 14mm, so that fits these spark plugs perfectly. Pop it in like that and then I take that into the car, put it in to where the spark plug goes so I know that it's not going to fall out before I then attach this and get it tightened up again. Right, that's the last spark plug in now, just make sure you don't over tighten it, it's really easy to do so but just be that little bit gentle with it if you can. Once that's in, make sure that you're putting your grommets back in correctly, or mushrooms or whatever you'd like to call them. So they just fit on and then the, this bit should fit in the hole quite tightly and that stops them from getting wet or anything like that, so really important. Whilst I'm at the engine, if you guys have anything else that you'd like to learn about your cars, just pop it in the comments below and I'll see what I can make for you. So now that those are done, the best thing to do now is just to start the engine and check that it's all running correctly, so I'm going to go and have a look now. So the first time I did this task was actually with my brother Sam, so between us we just decided to have a look at the spark plugs in my old engine 
and together we took them out and it was really fun. We'd never done it before either of us but we just cracked on and had a go and yeah it's quite an easy task and it's another important one because it's best to check on them and they're quite cheap enough to buy so you can replace them if you need to. So that's us then for the day. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn a bit more about your car. If you did like this video give it a like and subscribe for me and I'll see you in my next one.